Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Hi bees, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I normally store photo, photo card, what am I saying? So today I'm back with another storing photo cards video. I think we're hitting every binder, but just letting you guys know, today's gonna be more woods heavy binder because, or heavy video because I got my season's greetings in the other day and there's a lot of photo cards, so. I'm going to get all my binders and then we will get started. Also, oh my god, I made a new intro and a new like outro end screen. Let me know how you feel about it. I don't know if I like it. I might change it. Okay, so here's my first binder. This is my Le Seraphim collection. I just collect Chewan and Gazwa. Um, the only card today that I have to put away is this Gazwa Weaver's Pub. I actually had this before. But I wanted to put it back in my binder because I do want to keep it. So I just want to put a like spot for it. So I'm actually going to put it behind her fearless cards just to, I don't know. Also, I put this unit card behind here and I meant to put it in this back slot previously. Just double checking, make sure everything's in focus. I hate how Chewon keeps moving. Okay. But that was all I had to store for the Seraphim very quick. Um, actually, though, I do have Gazua's, um, Iridescent Opal card on the way, so I'm literally just missing Chewan, and then I'll be fully caught up before their next comeback, whenever that is. So that is so exciting. Next, we have my Espa collection. This binder is getting heavy. I was thinking of downsizing Espa. I was even debating putting Espa in, like, an A4 binder, because then I'd have, like, a lot more room for them. But... I don't know what I'll do yet, but anything. Anyway, the only thing I have today is I have two cards, both for Ning Ning. First, I have her season's greetings card and my cat is using her scratching post right now. I'm so sorry, but it's just this one. I don't know if I'm gonna get the other members because honestly, like I haven't seen all the other members season's greetings cards. I only saw Ning Ning set, so I might just get Ning Ning, but anyway. Next card I have is this Ning Ning Pub. It's of the same outfit, but she just looks so cute. Anyway, now I'll have to put in another page if I want to get more like Espa random cards. Here is my, oh, it's out of focus. All right, here's my next binder. This is my Twice binder. So about the Twice comeback, it's the same as between one and two and um, Taste of Love where you get five cards per album and you only need five cards to complete one member. Because I'm so behind on between one and two. <coughs> fuck. Um, sorry, I have like so, such bad allergies right now. I might not collect, oh my God, my voice. I might not collect OT9 for the new era because I don't know, I might collect like just two OT9 or three OT9 sets as opposed to collecting all OT9. But I feel like since it's three sets, that's already so many, right? So I feel like I might as well collect everything, but oh, fuck, I don't know. I haven't thought it out yet. For twice, oh wait, this card is sturdy, hold on. First card I have is for Formula of Love. I haven't been working too hard on twice. I never am though. Twice is more so like a chill collection for me, but I just have this Sana for the middle row and my cat has the zoomies and it's literally 2 p.m. so I don't know why but yeah anyway next card I have is for my OT9 set it's actually the last two cards I needed so I'm completing this set first we have Nyan and then the last card I needed was Dahan she's so gorge and then my stupid ass accidentally double traded for this Nyon, so I have two of these now. So if anybody wants to trade this Nyon for any Formula Love card I need, aside from Sana's ID, um, let me know. Okay, next I have pop cards on the way, um, so just ignore that. <laughs> just take my word for it that I have pop cards on the way. Next we have between one and two, and the first card I have for that is this Sana. This is the cryptography version. So I have my top three done. It's been so long. I just need to finish this shit. I just can't. Um, but then the next and last twice card I have is this sauna from the 
I honestly forgot what the name of this version was called. So that's fun, but just this cute one with the plushies. So yeah. Anyway, that was all I had for twice. So let's move on to my mixed groups binder. Here's my mixed groups binder. Very simple. This eventually is gonna go to Stacy, but I'm just taking my sweet time making that change, especially because they've had their comeback. So I'm like, I haven't even set up for it. I don't have any cards for it yet. So I'm just like, fuck. Anyway, the first group I have a card for is NCT. I have this Gemin beatbox card. So I'm caught up until candy, except for that one Kino that we don't talk about. And then for Shao Jun, I have his, yeah, I have his arrival card. I had to check. I couldn't remember if it was the departure arrival. Departure is the yellow back, so. How fun. Yippee. Next, we have Stacy. And for Stacy, I just have like a few cards. Not that many. I have three, but... The first card I have is for Statum, I mean, sort of Young Culture. It is this uh, human card for this set. So I'm just missing her other card, and then Seyun's other card, and then Jay's set. But I can't believe I'm almost done with their debut era. Not bad. Now that I say that though, it's gonna be hard for me to find the last cards I need. And then the next card I have is from my Statum album in a lot, like a previous video I said I bought another Statum album to make a collage for when I make a Stacy binder. I ended up pulling the I saw I wanted slash still needed. Um, I said like in a video that this is like one of my favorite I saw cards. So the fact that I pulled it in my album, kind of iconic if you ask me. And then the final card I have is for Young Love. It is this Isa for the love version. There's this one. Just her with a little um, like balloon bear, very cute. And that was everything for Stacy. Um, I also haven't got anything for TXT's comeback yet, but I do have. Where are my nine pop -up pages? Oh, they're right here. I bought, I talked about this previously, I bought Jungsook Season's Greetings, you know, like the actor. Um, <laughs> so I have his Season's Greetings photo cards and I wanna put them away in my binder because I love him dearly. And then also to like be annoying, I also, I think I'm gonna get some IU cards um, and then put them on the page with it because like they're dating. <laughs> so yeah. The first thing we have is this magnet. It's actually a lenti as well, but um, yeah, there you go. But it's like really thick and really heavy, so I don't know how well it's gonna stay in place. But yeah, the next card is this one. What the hell? My cat wants to sit in my windowsill, and so she's just making so much noise right now. And then here's the next card. And then I have this card. And then lastly, he gave us one selfie, but it looks like he has a gun pointed to his head. I don't, maybe it's that K-drama like PTSD, but boy, give us a smile. Anyway, <laughs> that was all I had for this binder. I'm gonna leave these spots open because like I said, I do actually wanna get IU photo cards. Not just because they're dating, I actually love IU and I want photo cards of hers, but I think it would be funny to like put them on the same page together. You know what I mean? Maybe get a base Susie photo card too. I love her. Anyway, we can move on now to Luna. Okay, first we're starting with my Luna non-album binder. Um, I just have like two photo cards for this, so you know, we're chilling. Also, I put Moomin Lip in here because it's cute. Okay. So the first card I have is the last Jin Soul card I needed. It's her, I just moved it on accident. Her unit card with Cherry, very cute. So I have Jin Soul fully complete now. And then I have this, go on. 
However, I actually have Guan's like Santa Monica card like I wanted to get. So I, I still want to get matcha Guan, but I'm actually gonna put this Guan here. I'm gonna put Santa Monica Guan here and I'm gonna put Olivia behind Jinsel and Cherry because yeah. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> God damn it. I also like just woke up not too long ago, so I'm sorry. That's probably why my allergies are so bad right now. But I'm gonna put that goal in, in the spot in my next video. So now she's just on the back. But that was actually everything I had for this binder. So we can move on to my Luna album binder. I don't have that much Luna today, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's always a work in progress. Here is my Luna album card binder. So first starting off, I have a card for plus plus. So we're just skipping for pre-debut. First, I have Olivia's A version. Just need 10 more girls. <laughs> and then next we can move on to Midnight. And for Midnight, I first have a VV for the A version. And I also have a Kim lip. There we go. Next for the B version, I have a Yojin card. Oh no, this is the C version. I lied. Oops. But yeah, for the C version, I have a Yojin. <laughs> Just this one. And then next we can move on to and. And for the A version, I have... I have this cherry card. So yeah. And then lastly, we can move on to flip that. For flip that, I just have three cherry, or I mean two cherry cards. Um, and I actually, they're both for the A version, and I actually set up a trade for her last card as well. I have this cheek poke cherry, and then I have this one. And then her last one I have is on the way. So cherry will be done for the A version relatively soon. How fun. So I'm just missing one Eve, two choose, and a go on. And then the A version for the last six girls is done. Oh my gosh. Anyway, unfortunately that was everything I had for Luna today. So we can just move on. I think the next video will have a little more Luna. So that'll be good. All right, here's my final binder. God, this binder is massive. This is my woods binder. There's just so much in here. Okay, let me, so the first three cards I have to put away for Woods are these pre-order cards. This, this is what the box look like. They're just like torn. And then I also have these three pops. I think these are for Make Star 4. Oh, and then these are what the backings look like. Yeah, these are Make Star. And then now we can move on to his newest um, season's greetings. So let me just, okay, here's 2021. Oh no, yeah, 2022. And here is a spot for 2023. Let me count how many cards there are, I can't remember. I think there's like enough for five patterns. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So that's what? Four pages of five? I really need to split up this binder, but I really want to keep my wood stuff in one binder. I don't know why, but I just really do. Anyway. First, we're going to do the selfie cards that he did. So first, here are these two. Then there are these two. And there are these two. And then there are these two. And then there are these two, which don't have matching cards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like these cards that don't have matching ones in the middle. And then I'm gonna do a five pattern around them with the cards that do match. So for this set, I guess I'll just do this page. I'll just do these two for fun. 
And then I'll do these two because they're kind of similar. Actually, yeah, I'll just do these two, it doesn't matter. And then on the next page, I will do the same exact thing. I really like this card. <laughs> I don't know. The hoodie one too from the middle of the first page is really cute. Okay. So that's those five. Next we have the Polaroids. There are also five of these. There's this one, this one, this one, this one, which is probably my favorite. And this one, which for some reason is like really blurry in comparison to the other ones. Not quite sure why that is. Um, these two are in the same outfit, so I'm gonna put them together and then this one because it's so blurry i'm gonna put it in the middle and then these two will go right here like that cute and then lastly we have the ids so first the ids came in this little um envelope i'm gonna just leave this to make it a five pattern let's see like that and then the four IDs, there is this one in the hoodie, this one, this one, and this one. So how do I want to put these in here? I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then unfortunately, I don't know how many like white sleeves I have left, which sucks. So let me see because if I can do fillers for these because I, I don't know how many white sleeves I have. Okay, I have enough white sleeves for this page. So that's how that looks. Pretty cute. And for the Polaroids, I don't know how many, how many white sleeves I have left. I like used them all when I made those Luna fillers. So I have like none left. Oh my god, this is literally my last white sleeve. That is so sad. Okay. So unfortunately, these three pages are not going to have full white, like, filler sleeves, but that's okay. Anyway, let's just do a little flip through of that. So here is, like, the first set of cards. The second set. Polaroid set and the id set and then the back of the ids is just blank by the way if you were curious so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching my video today if you've made it this far um i'm glad if you did that was everything i had to store today so i hope to see you guys in another video bye bye